Hello there beautiful people and welcome back again to on our channel for people that don't know my name is NS I'm working for you so if you have any questions in video request make sure to drop on the line a comment I will be happy to make a video for you and for people that do know welcome back please be a witness for that because I made over 200 videos on Shopify customizations and they were mostly requested by you guys I mean subscribers some people not even subscribers but I'm fine with that I still make the video for them so if you have any video requests or any questions don't hesitate just drop me a comment below I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you when you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider subscribing because this is a very different chapter on this channel I usually share small customizations but now I will be sharing complete sections and widgets so you can make your Shopify store very professional without having to pay for those expensive teams or those monthly subscription applications which is not a very good idea for long-term projects or I'll give you a better deal just scroll down to the channel check it out see the videos and section I'm sharing and I'll let you decide and I respect your decision but in this video I will be sharing how to add floating testimonials on your Shopify store and they are very different from the usually the testimonials on Shopify teams this is a scrolling testimonials with a glow effect and they look like they're hovering they have a 3d effect and you could set a custom font to the heading and it has a lot more options that you don't even need but they are for you just in case you need them and yes this is a custom code section no applications involved in this video and without any more talking let's just jump to it and show you how this section looks like on how it works so as you can see this is by the way Shopify down team so I always start with a completely new team so each video I add small customizations by the video 70 or 80 the team will be completely different but now because this is a different chapter I think I will reach that level by the video 40 or 30 this is le just less than 20 videos and it's already very different as you can see for example you see this recent sales notifications right here as you can see I add this without using applications but using your own custom code and it's highly customizable keeps looping the recent sales on your Shopify store without having to pay for those expensive teams or expensive applications that will do this actually you can now add this but using your own custom code so you don't have to pay each month for an application and I already posted that video make sure to check it out but I'm about to show you in this video oh yeah you see this one reviews carousel with multiple reviews from multiple sources at once you can filter through them this is a video as well and I already posted it what I'm about to show you is this one right here as you can see once I hover over them by the way they stop they stop moving and it has this they gets lifted like it's 3d as you can see each carousel each review uh, card it gets lifted like this and the other one below it it keeps moving as you can see if I move cursor down the other one at the top will keep moving again and you can set how many carousels you can set for this review section for example if I want only one it will only show me one let me show you that in action so let me switch to the mobile because on the mobile it has a different settings which is to show only one carousel and here it is as you can see only one carousel that would show up on the mobile because there is a different settings for the desktop and for the mobile so you can set one line or two lines for the for the desktop and for the mobile different lines for the carousel as well so let me switch back to the desktop and let me zoom out so you can see how it looks like so it has picture for the user the stars reviews the name and the review and the star which is the testimonial stars rating for this user so enough talking here and let me show you how to add the section and show you all the options that this section has so you can customize it and make it suits your Shopify design so obviously the first thing you're going to do is head back to Shopify dashboard if you are already in Shopify dashboard click on online store then click on teams then click on the three dots on left of customize and click on edit code because as I said this is your own custom code not an application so in here on the left panel you will see some files and folders we need this particular folder right here where it says sections this is exactly what we need so just click on it expand it and you will see the first option it says add new section click on it and you will see this prompt right here so you can set a name for it and this section will be actually suited for a reviews carousel or for a testimonial carousel so you can customize it however you want in my case I'm gonna do it as a demo as a testimonial carousel so I'm gonna type in make sure to name it glow dash testimonials just like you see on the screen and you don't have to add the extension for the file just the name for it click on done and it will create some code here by default make sure to remove the whole code in here then in here we need to paste in the code and where are you gonna get that custom code 
as always, description box. Just scroll down the description box and you will see a website. And actually, just wait until you see how the section looks like and how it functions and all the options. Then see if it suits your purpose, then go down, get it. If not, check out the next video because I have many, many things coming in the future. So let me, let me assume that you already did. If you did, open the file that you will get uh, with any text editor, then copy the whole code inside it and simply paste it in here. That's very simple, right? Then click on the save button. After a couple of seconds, it's saved it. Now I will get back to the team editor because this is a section. Obviously, we need to add the section. So click on customize. And after a couple of seconds, it should take you to the team customizer. And in here, we're gonna add this section. You can add it anywhere you want. In my case, I'm gonna add it in here just for demonstration. Click on add section. Then click on the search bar right here and click testimonials. And it will show you glow testimonials as you can see. Click on it and here they are. And yeah, they look way larger than I showed you in the demonstration, right? Because this is a highly customizable section. As I said, there is more options than you need. So the first one is section scaling, as you see. So this option will actually resize the whole section evenly. So if you want it, let, let me show you that in, in action. So I'm going to drag it down. Now it's 100%. I'm going to drag it down to 80%. As you can see, it did resize it. I'm going to do that more. No, no, it's too, too small. I'm going to keep it as 80 for demonstration and below is the settings for the heading. So as you can see, the heading consists of a, a phrase, see the law from our customers. And obviously you can edit this. However, I actually did uh, separate the heading because this word right here has a different color and you can change the color for it as well. So below uh, the first one, uh, sorry, is see the, I'm going to keep it just like that. The hidden highlight, which is the one in blue in here, as you can see, light blue color is love, said love. And the last one is from our customers. I'm going to keep it just like this for demonstration and for the uh, desktop heading size, because as I said, there is many options separated between the mobile and the desktop, because I know the screen on mobile is not the same as desktop. So you might want to different resizing for them. In my case, I think it looks a little bit large. Yeah, I'm going to resize it to make it smaller and a little bit more maybe. Yeah, now it's good. So the option below it is for the mobile. I'm gonna uh, uh, re resize it as well on the mobile. And this option is bold highlight text. If you want the text, the highlight text, which in my case, it says love, if you want it bold or not. If I disable the option, it's not bold as you can see. And it's actually good if you don't want, because it looks more attracting if it's not bold and the other text is bold. Or if you want it same as the other text, you can enable this option and here it is. And below is the highlight text color. Because as I said, you can change the color. Click on it, pick any color you want. In my case, I'm going to keep it as light blue, uh, one of my favorite colors. And below is the space between the heading and the carousel. This space right here below the heading. I don't like it. I'm going to remove the whole space. Now it's good. Yeah. And the next option, which is one of my favorite, the heading font URL because you can set a custom font to the heading and to do that simply find any heading you like online download the file for it then head over to the uh, Shopify file section let me show you how to do that you see this content sec uh, here on the left panel click on it then click on files and simply drag the font and in here it will be uploaded just this one, for example, is a font OTF, as you can see, any font extension will work. So I'm going to use this one for demonstration, copy the link for it using this button right here, then get back in here and simply paste it, replace the URL, paste it in here and check it out. Now, as you can see, it did set a custom font for the heading, but it looks a little bit small. I'm going to resize it again, larger, do 40. Yeah, now it's good. So the next option here is the carousel settings. So as I said, there is multiple options for mobile and desktop. So this one first is for the desktop. So how many carousels? If I did like just one, it will keep only one carousel as you can see. So this is basically a personal preference. If you have more testimonials or more reviews, you can do like multiple carousels like I did, just like this. Or if you have just few, you don't want too many, then add just one. And the same for the mobile, as you can see, this one is for the mobile and the one up is for the desktop. And the next option is the carousel speed. So the carousel speed, how, how fast this one moves. So the lower the number, the faster it goes. As you can see, I lowered the number, 
now it goes much faster but i don't recommend you doing it too fast so the higher the number the slower will go yeah check it out now it's very very slow as you can see so i'm gonna do like around 45 or maybe more like 60. yeah 60 is fine and the same option again for desktop and below it this one for the mobile i'm gonna keep this as default just for demonstration and below the review card setting so if you have long text in the reviews or testimonials you can make this larger so it doesn't have to like increase the height of the widget let me show you that for for example as you can see the text uh, looping to the next uh, uh, line i'm gonna increase the width and that should fix it here it is as you can see now it's not the same as it was before and i think like this looks way better i'm gonna add it more just like 410 yeah now it's good and the next option again same one for the mobile and below it is the background color uh, by default is white you can pick any color you want this is uh, basically based on your shopify team or the shopify design you have and the border uh, color which is the border around it you can see and the border width which is if i increase it you should see it becomes larger as you can see in my case i'm gonna keep it as one just one yeah now it's good uh, make sure to keep it as one if you don't even want it because it uh, actually attracts attention if it has border and the color makes sure to keep a light color same as the background and below again is the text color so you can change the text color uh, obviously if you change the background to black you might need to change the text color as white as well and the review and name color which is the it says here by default happy customer i will show you how to add reviews and change the name for them and so on because as you can see it has pictures you saw that in the first video in the beginning of the video so below if you want the uh, reviewer name to be bold if i enable this option as you can see the review name become bold and in the beginning of the video i did actually make the bold so i'm gonna keep this option like this and the stars color as i said there is way more options than you need i, I don't know why you want to uh, uh, like change the stars color maybe you do want to set them as blue like this yeah it looks good blue as well it looks good I'm gonna keep it as blue actually the section background color uh, which is white by default it suits the team I'm gonna keep it like this and the glow because as you saw it has actually a glow if I hover over it as you can see it shows a glow so you can actually change the glow color if you don't like that color which is my favorite color again <laughs> I apologize so below it is the glow opacity you can increase it decrease it and the glow size to make it larger so it, it will be more like a, more obvious so below it again is the always glow effect because you can actually if i enable this option it will always show the glow i don't have to over over i don't have to over, hover over it with the mouse cursor it will show the, the 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 glow effect just like you see on the screen right now for demonstration i didn't enable this option at first i will keep it now and below is the rating badge color which is the one that says like five stars as you can see it depends actually on uh, the the testimony i will show you that in a second i'm gonna keep it same as color it suits the design and below the options for the setting for the section top padding bottom padding i'm gonna remove the bottom the bottom one yeah now it's good and this one for the mobile so let me show you now how to add the testimonials or how to add reviews or how to edit them in here you see below this blocks this is the reviews and you can add up to 25 review so the first one by default all of them says happy customer if i click on it it will show me the settings for their particular review as you can see the reviewer image let me pick a image from here let me actually pick myself and the name for it happy customer and if on how for demonstration on how ns maybe yeah yeah as you can see it shows up here and the ratings if i did like three stars it will show three as you can see three stars in here i'm gonna keep it five because all my sections are five stars and obviously the review text so this is based on the review you have or the testimonies you want to add i'm gonna keep this just like this for demonstration and if you want to add more simply head over to the last one right here scroll below it just a little bit and you will see add block click on it then add customer review and here is one more added and you can add as i said 25 and this section will come actually with a pdf file uh, a user guide file a comprehensive detailed guide with every option on this section 
so you don't have to get lost and you can just open the PDF and see the option and I also included some bonus tips how to use it and the best use for it and you will also get my personal contact but for now if you have any video requests or any questions make sure to drop on below in a comment and I will be happy to reply to you with the information you need or even make a video for you but for now I think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one